prophet Babatunde Afa has been set free of the life imprisonment convention he caught after being found guilty over the disappearance of a year, one year old good Kola Wale in his church in November 2019. He was set free by the Court of Appeal sitting in Akure, the Ondo state capital. The ruling of the Appeal Court threw more light on some important flaws in the previous conviction of Prophet Babatunde Afan. This set of flaws were what convicted convinced the appeal court to set Babatunde Afa free. During the trial of Prophet Babatunde Afa, the DSS provided video evidence at the court, and in the video evidence, Prophet Babatunde Afa said that the parents of the missing boy did not follow the church normal channel in reporting the case of the missing boy. The pastor had said in the video interview that it was because the parents of the missing boy did not come begging, stating that the boy could have been found if the parents had begged him. The interrogation in the video was overseen by the operatives of the DSS, headed by one Adekunle and the counsel to the prophet, Barrister Omo Uweri. The video recording of the statement that was made by Prophet Babatunde Afa was one of the key pieces of evidence that were used to sentence him to life imprisonment. Although what Prophet Babatunde Afa said in the video was annoying and highly suspicious, it did not prove that he had a hand in the disappearance of the boy. The video could be interpreted as the statement of an egocentric prophet who believed that the missing boy's parents are his church members and as such they should beg him before he could assist in founding the missing child. Such evidence throw more light on the egocentric personality of the prophet. However, it did not confirm that he had a hand in the disappearance of the boy, Good Kola Wale. One of the main reasons why Prophet Babatunde Afan was freed by the Abbey Court was because his life imprisonment conviction was largely based on circumstantial evidence. Justice Gamma Baka ruled that the circumstantial evidence the High Court based its judgment on was not enough to convict Prophet Babatunde Afa. Nobody ever saw Prophet Babatunde Afa on his church or his church workers kidnap Good Kolawole. As far as we know, Good Kolawole was disappeared by some unknown persons. The mother of the missing boy, Mudukbe Kolawole, accused Prophet Babatunde Afa of having a hand in the disappearance of her child because neither he nor his church was willing to help the authorities with their investigation into the disappearance of the young boy. The key factors that led to the convention of Prophet Babatunde Afa was the DSS video, his refusal to assist the boy's parents on the authorities with the investigation into the boy's disappearance and the fact that the church workers who were supposed to look after the children that were kept on their care failed to provide any meaningful explanation as to what happened to the boy. Looking at all the points listed above, they, were, they all appear to be circumstantial and there is no real evidence to pin the disappearance of the boy or prof, on Prophet Babatunde Afa. So far, it could be said that the Prophet and his church workers could be guilty of carelessness, neglect, and failure to provide any meaningful assistance forward locating the boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. From his, as, uh, from his antecedents, Afan is not a man of good character. Mm -hmm. Really? God paved way for another killing. I am telling you. If truly is a man of God and the light against him, things will change for better for him. But if he is not, many of the 
sympathizers will have story to tell later. Exactly. That is just the truth. You cannot mock God. If this man is not guilty, he's going to be set free at the end of the day. That is how God works. But if he's not, he can never go free. Because he cannot, you know, eat your cake and get it back. It's not possible. Yeah. For example, now that this guy has been doing this thing before now, God has have given him you know, a long group for him to repent. He did not. God can as well use this process, you know, to persecute him. But if he is not guilty, God will still turn the case and make sure that this man goes free. You understand? The truth is that no one knows what happened to God Kolawale. The, uh, is between God, Kola Wale, God, and the prophet. That is the truth. No one knows. Just like some questions some persons are asking here. But if actually this man needs to use, you know, anybody for whatever, according to what people are saying that he has used God, Kola Wale for rituals or whatever, must he be in his church? Sometimes you just have to reason out of the context. Uh, context. Must he, take, must he pick a child from his church, knowing too well that if anything happens, he's going to rope him. Some persons also said that it might be that uh, people, some persons are just jealous of him. And, uh, you know, they did that game and it went through because of ego. You know, sometimes some of these pastors, they are, so, they are too proud. If you, if you, you can see, let's also look at this issue like this. It might be that this guy is innocent, but the role he played was really very, very bad. Someone is looking for a missing child. You are saying the person did not come begging you, and the child missed in your church. Maybe because you feel that you are the orphan omega in that church. You understand? It might be that his hand is clean, but the ways he used, that is just what he used against him. Sometimes we just have to drop this ego pride. We have to drop it. Because all these things land can land you into a big problem. That is just what is is in now. Okay. We just pray that if he's if he's clean on this, may God set him free. But if he's not clean, he will go for it. Yeah. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.